So engine is completely removed um, of this truck. And uh, if you don't know what happened to this truck, um, you can check my previous videos. I was talking about this truck uh, then had a driver failure. Uh, the driver applied the ground gear while going downhill. Um, so uh, engine is completely apart. And uh, before this video, the video, uh, the video before this one, I show you that there were some uh, pieces, some broken pieces of this engine that weren't metal. And uh, that was kind of weird. And um, I didn't have the conclusion what was wrong with the, um, with the engine at the moment. So I needed to take the engine apart to see what actually caused this problem, uh, to see why the engine was hard to rotate, and to see what are those metal uh, aluminum pieces that were all over the oil pan. And uh, so far, I got this. As you can see, uh, the engine is out, right? So we have a connecting rod over here. The reason why I have this connecting rod is to show you what happened to this engine. So when the RPM went high on this engine, one bearing just didn't resist. And see how this bearing looks? This is looks completely destroyed. Uh, let me see if I have a, a, a bearing that is in a good condition. I think I have one over here. This is the way a bearing should look. And this is the bearing looks on this one. See how uh, damaged this bearing is. It looks super destroyed. Um, the good thing is that the engine stopped just in time before a major problem. Um, but, um, uh, this doesn't mean that it's not a major problem. So a major problem, I mean that the engine didn't have, I mean the engine block doesn't have a damage so far. So far I haven't seen a damage. So I had to remove the crankshaft uh, to uh, see if there is a damage on the, on, the, on, the, on the engine block. But so far the engine looks in a good condition. So uh, uh, this is the reason why the engine was hard to rotate. So basically, we have two problems. And one problem that I still don't understand how that happened. The problem is how that one, then is the oil pan got all cracked. On my previous video, you saw that I show you how the, the oil pan was all cracked. And still, I don't find a real answer because the aluminum pieces are not strong enough. But I don't know, I still looking uh, for the real answer on that one because I wanna know what happened what is the total damage on this engine? Uh, so far, I know that I had to replace the crankshaft to fix this problem, replace all the bearings, replace all the connecting rods, the, all the connecting rods. Uh, in the case of the main bearings, I have a main bearing cap over here. The main bearing is still okay. See, it has a damage over here. See this line over here? It looks like something went in, probably one uh, piece of those aluminum uh, pieces went inside and give her a, uh, a really deep scratch on this uh, bearing. But nothing to concern, nothing that will destroy the engine. Uh, nothing like the connecting rod. The connecting rod has a big damage. But uh, Still, there is one question that I still have about this engine. The is from where the uh, aluminum piece then I had over here, I believe, here. This aluminum piece came from. I still have a question on that. So I told initially, if you, say, if you saw my previous video, I told them it was the fuel pump. So I did remove the fuel pump. The fuel pump is right here. And I took it apart and everything. And the fuel pump has no damage at all. It's clean. There is no damage in the fuel pump. So definitely this piece is not for the fuel pump. So the question is from where this pieces of metal are coming from. And uh, there is no other uh, aluminum 
uh, part on this engine. That's what I told initially, but I forgot that we have this one because we have a 2013 engine. So we now have this compared over here. This is aluminum too, this part. This is going to be a, com a converter to the uh, turbo compound then goes over here. So here we have the little turbine over here. See, this is a turbine then um, applies the force of the turbo compound to the flywheel. So it transforms the energy uh, to the flywheel. It's like a five horsepower, something like that. That's what they say in the in, in paper. So uh, I'm not completely sure because I am not going to say that this works or no. Newer engines don't have this. Newer D15, D15 engines don't have this technology anymore because it is not a technology that is going to be worth a lot of um, savings. So, uh, and also we have a lot of oil over here. See, this oil or fuel uh, probably came from the same pistons and everything uh, when uh, engine got completely wrapped and probably stopped immediately for because of the uh, bearing then got seized or something or, or the driver trying to stop the engine, I don't know. Probably fuel injectors uh, didn't resist and started throwing a lot of fuel. Probably that's the reason why we have a crack uh, uh, old pan because the fuel went in there and exploded or something like that. That's the only reason. I don't see other reason because this is not strong to crack uh, that plastic because this is not going to be super strong. It's not heavy at all. So this weights probably like three ounces or something like that. It's super light. Aluminum is not going to be super heavy. So that's the reason why I don't believe that this is going to happen. But there is actually another damage than I saw on this engine. So uh, if you come to the rear over here, you can clearly see that this one broke, see? So these bolts over here, they all gotta be replaced because they're already damaged or something. This one just didn't resist or something. I don't know. So uh, this engine has a major damage, a super major damage going on. And uh, uh, I mean, uh, anyway, this part has to be replaced. This part over here, this is a different part. This is just the part that connects the, uh, the flywheel and uh in the in the crankshaft this part over here has a gear in there so we can get it off and put a new one that is not that hard to replace once you have the crankshaft off it's easy to remove so this one gotta be replaced with a new one I, i'm just wondering if the uh, one that goes inside is damaged too so um that is something that i need to see but i don't know uh, this this engine has a very unique damage I know, uh, that much then I didn't see before, and uh, hopefully it doesn't go more than this. The, view, the, the, the things that I already know that are damaged is okay, is good, because I know what it has to be replaced to fix this engine. But I just expect that this engine is gonna stay like this. Uh, and uh, I need to keep researching I need to remove that part over here to see if that is the reason why uh, the aluminum pieces are all over the place. And I need to see the bottom part of the uh, engine block to see if there is any cracks or damage, a visual damage on the engine block after this uh, problem with this engine because uh, it looks like a severe problem. It looks a bigger problem than what it looks actually. But uh, we are going to continue that tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to um, remove the uh, crankshaft. 
when you need to remove the crankshaft and remove the other components uh, to actually give you the uh, details and con uh, the continuation of this uh, issue that we have on this engine. And also tomorrow when I start working on this engine too, tomorrow uh, when I start taking everything apart, this is the other engine that I have but uh, with a mechanic damage, uh, the mechanic did some damage uh, didn't actually do the job after I rebuilt the engine got this problem. So I want to I wanna do a video showing you what caused this problem. Uh, uh, hopefully I get the real answer on what causes this problem so that way you guys can uh, uh, be careful on that. So, so far on this video is going to be all. Uh, so far I got only these answers for you about this engine with this uh, severe damage, engine damage, over speed damage. Uh, I want to give you another update uh, tomorrow on how it goes to see what other components are broken and to see what is going to be the final result and the final uh, price, the final cost of repair of this engine. Uh, definitely crankshaft got to be replaced, all connecting rods, major overhaul to the to that that is going to be uh, uh that no questions asked that has to be done but with the engine block i still have some doubts and with the other components over there I still have some doubts so uh that will be answered tomorrow on my other video that i'm gonna be doing after i take everything apart so uh so far this is all i have about this truck um and uh Hopefully I get the answer that I'm looking for and you get the information then probably you are going to be satisfied too after I find the real cause of this problem and the real uh, repair to this problem. So uh, if you have any questions about this video, look for uh, the comment section below and there you can ask anything. Uh, if you have answers to the questions and other people is asking too, you can um, answer those questions you can share experiences if you have any experience about problems like this it will be good because you can uh, share it with anybody else then probably uh, thinks or is going through a problem similar to this that way we all can learn something I can learn from you as well uh, also if you wanna uh, ask me something directly go to Instagram Francisco Maya YouTube uh, there you can ask me something directly just be patient the answer is gonna come to you uh, just give me a little time uh, wanna send me support go to uh, the description of the video I have details how to send uh, support to my channel so I can create content like this for all of you that want to know more about these uh, trucks. And uh, as always, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and thank you for watching.